Hello, everybody. We are back here on Way of the Hunter. I am incredibly happy to be back here. We had a lot of fun last time, so let's see if we can have just as uh, much fun today. Hey, Adam, how's it going, man? How you doing? Hey, Mr. Lazy, Cole, Mason, Pineapples, Necron, uh, Buck, Tian, Coleman, Fusion, Cruz, Brady, Brody, uh, Milstead, Norwegian, uh, Call the Wild, Darkhound, C, and Toxic, Blake, Jackson. How's everybody doing? How is everybody doing? Nice, Blake, that's awesome. That is awesome, man. So today we're going to use a little bit of a different loadout. I am going to uh, carry the shotgun with me. That way we can hopefully take out some of the birds. And then I'm also going to carry um, possibly the just the 223 Scout. Maybe the 308, I don't know. I've been liking the Scout a lot. It's actually a ton of fun. And I use the 22 a bit, as you can see, and oh my gosh, it fires so fast. Uh, let me actually real quickly show you guys the fire rate of this 22. Also, it looks really good. I love the way the Stinger 22 looks. Reminds me of like a Ruger 1022. But look at this. That was 10 shots right there. <laughs> and look at that. Once you get a round in the chamber, you can reload again to get that extra round. So cool. Such an amazing attention to detail. You can actually see the bullet with the 22 as well. It's amazing. Why would you ever need that? I don't know, but it's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, Graham, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you've been doing great. Welcome back to the stream. Also, guys, I got a new mouse uh, yesterday in the middle of the stream, so I've got the new mouse set up now. And so if my aim is a little more off than normal, you guys know why. I'm still trying to get used to this mouse, as it is a little bit of a different size than my old mouse. So it's going to take me a bit to get used to it. All right, guys, what do you think? For our primary weapon, should we use the 308 or should we go with the uh, 223? Because I, I did a little bit of testing and neck shots work incredibly well. So we could honestly do 223 neck shots on the deer and get very good results. Three oh eight, three oh eight, three oh eight. All right, three oh eight sounds good to me. And yeah, we'll keep that on there. Let's do a shotgun for this one. Um, I think I bought a new shotgun. I can't remember. Did I? I might not have. No, I didn't. Okay, let's uh, purchase this one. The over and under 16 gauge looking nice. And for that one, you cannot add a red dot. Uh, what do you guys think? That one or should we do the semi-automatic 20 gauge? 20 or 16? New Way of the Hunter vid at 6. I actually changed the schedule a little bit. I didn't have time to um, get videos edited for uh, tomorrow, so... I decided to do a short today, and then tomorrow will be the next full episode. But I've got a short of the most insane long-range shot that we made yesterday. Okay, most of you want to see the 20 gauge semi-automatic. I don't blame y'all. It's pretty amazing. Let's add this on there as well. And let's get our callers. So I'm thinking we'll go duck collar. And goose collar. And then probably the elk collar, since the deer collar, I don't have the level unlock that will attract attract uh, males. But here's the 20 gauge. This thing looks amazing. Super cool. Now let's get out there. You don't like the recoil of the guns? Eh, it doesn't really bug me too much. And the way that I've seen it is, even though the recoil may be a little bit too little for a lot of them, I feel like everything else is so good that I can overlook the recoil. What is the most expensive thing? It is the 12 gauge shotgun, actually. It's like 11,000 credits. It's kind of crazy how expensive it is compared to the rest of the stuff. Can we try the 338? Yeah, we can do it at some point. Um, I can only carry two guns at once, and I want something to shoot deer with, so we've got the 308, and then we've got the 20 gauge to start with. We'll, uh, change, like, halfway through the stream. 
What kind of waterfowl is there? There is wild ducks, which is basically mallards. There's the Ross's goose. There's the lesser scop. There's the uh, gray lag goose on the other reserve. I think that's all. And then there's also pheasants for upland birds. Is there decoys or do you just use the collar? There is no decoys as of now, but maybe in the future. I think right now you pretty much just call them in if they're flying and then you can also flush them out of their zones. So that's kind of interesting. You almost hunt the ducks like you would the pheasants. You flush them out of their zones in the swamp area. I know, right, Fum? It's insane, dude. I love this game. Just the amount of beauty is crazy. And also, guys, you may notice a little lower frame rate to start out with, and that's because it does take probably 10 minutes for the game to kind of like load everything in the world and get the frame rate to stabilize. That's one thing that I've noticed. Like the first 10 minutes that I'm in a map, the uh, frame rate is a little bit lower than it will be after that. So in a bit, it should uh, jump up. Where should we go for ducks? I'm thinking up here. I've seen quite a few here. Though if we don't go too far, I shouldn't crash, so... Because I've been getting a crash when I go to this spot. But if I go through here, we should be fine. And I saw a five-star mallard there, uh, like, five or six days ago. I don't know if it's still alive, but might be worth a check. Graham, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Begging for a new Xbox to get this game? <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty amazing game. I don't blame you there. Water found this game seemed like an afterthought. Oh, definitely, Paleo. I think they were mainly focusing on the big game. And they definitely did a great job on, like, the deer and the elk and things like that. But uh, the waterfowl are a little bit lackluster for sure. That is a long drop. Hey, Daniel, how's it going? Hope you've been doing good. Let's go chase down some ducks. And maybe we'll find a moose even. Yeah, it's unfortunate, tragic. Yeah, probably Elk Hunter. That's my uh, thoughts on it as well. I feel like if it was on old gen, it would probably be very uh, poor performing. It doesn't, Pronghorn. The Xbox Store shows it no matter what platform you're on, uh, but it won't work on Xbox One. It will not work on Xbox One. If you actually try to like play it, it'll say that it's not compatible with your device. Unfortunately, that's a Microsoft issue where their, sh their uh, store shows every single game that is available in the Microsoft store, regardless of what platform you're on. It's the same on PC. If I access uh, the Microsoft store, it'll show stuff that's only available on console as well. Uh, not really, Dylan. And it's not necessarily a guarantee that I'll have to restart. Um, I was talking to the one of the, the uh, gosh, English is tough. I was talking to one of the devs like a week ago, and he said that it is possible that I'll be able to move my save folder over to my main account once early access is done, but he said he doesn't know for sure if it's going to work, so we'll have to see. There's a possibility I might get to keep my progress, and then there's also a possibility that I won't. We shall have to wait and see. Ross's goose? Ah. We got some geese. They are not going to us, though. There's a three-star mature in there. A two-star mature. Yeah, those, uh, those geese don't want anything to do with us. Unfortunately. They doubled back the second I called. Gotta love it. We might just have to find uh, some that are on the ground. And then just flush them up. Moose zone, often. Okay. That's good to see. 1107. Moose technically should still be drinking. We might be able to catch one off guard. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? Don't see anything as of now. Where was that duck zone? That's a scop zone. 
pretty sure that that uh, five-star duck that I had seen was further this way. But it's been so long that I don't think it's even alive still. Why is the screen blurry? That's the hunter sense. See? You use the hunter sense to pick up tracks. Like, if I'm just walking around normal, I can't see these zones here. But if I go into the hunter sense, I can see the tracks, I can see this uh, need zone right here. So, uh, that's kind of how you, like, spot everything. You can also get spotting information if you're looking at an animal. Think of it as, like, you're squinting your eyes to see better. That's kind of what it is. Like, you're squinting your eyes so that you can see things a little bit better. Now, where's the ducks? Mason, what would give you the idea that I would stop playing Call of the Wild? I've said so many times that I'm not going to stop playing Call of the Wild. It's still one of my favorite games. Just because we get a new game doesn't mean I'm going to stop playing the game that literally built my channel. Nice, Waylon. Nice, MX4, that's awesome, man. I hope you enjoy the, uh, the PC life. Yeah, Hunter's Hunting Adventures, it's, uh, been crazy the last couple years. Seeing just the changes from, uh, from month to month. Wait, what was that? Moose. Where? Where is this moose? Uh, it's gotta be in that bush. It's got to be right in that bush. How am I liking Way of the Hunter? I'm loving it, PNG. It's my favorite hunting game now. It's just so well made and detailed. It has been an absolute pleasure playing this game. Got your first time in Red Deer yesterday. Nice, Brad. That's awesome, dude. The diamond red deer are quite impressive looking. Nice, Koji. Yeah, Tragic, it's been crazy. I think during yesterday's stream, we got around 500 subs. Awesome to see so many new people. And I've also been very uh, pleasantly surprised at the uh, positive uh, reactions to Way of the Hunter. Seems like a lot of people are very excited about this game. I'm just so happy that I'm finally able to show it to you guys so that you guys will know that I wasn't just saying that it was good. Like, it actually is an amazing game. And it's so nice to finally be able to show it to you guys. Me too, Goatly. I am so excited for the angler. It's my dream fishing game. August really is just like the best month for uh, the outdoors gaming genre. Pretty incredible having not only Way of the Hunter, but an awesome fishing game coming out later this month. Uh, there is no non-typicals in the game. And no non-tips is like non-typical uh, antlers. And there is no... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Holy. It's one of those days, guys. It's one of those days where Crow can't speak properly. But as I was saying, they are not in the game. They don't have non-typicals right now. But, uh, it's always possible they might add them later. Alright, let's get ready to blast these ducks. I don't know how quickly they spook, so... Let's see. Thank you, David. I appreciate that, man. I'm happy you've been enjoying. Yeah, I saw that, Zach, and then... When the game finally is able to be shown off, I saw a lot more people liking it than there was before, which is nice to see. I've seen way more people being happy about the game than people being mad about the game. I see the ducks. Couple of females there. There's a male somewhere in there. Two star adults. 
We got some little quack attacks right here. Let's see. Can we call them in from right here? That's a good sounding duck call. Wow. That actually sounds pretty cool. They're just chilling there, man. 46 meters. We could totally sneak up on them and start blasting. Can I hit them while they're on the ground, I wonder? Oh, that is a bad idea. Okay, don't do what Scarecrow did. That that didn't work. That did not work at all. <laughs> I don't think we hit a single. Oh, we got one of them. Nice. Okay, so yeah, 48 meters might be a bit far. Either that or I just need to get the uh, the spread and the drop down to better be able to hit these shots at range. We got one duck. Oof. Oh, four star. Wow. Okay, we got a four star duck. Uh, let's tax that one, actually. 86% genetics, so I don't think it would have gotten any bigger. I think we took that one out at the uh, proper time then. Yeah, because it was pretty far off of a uh, five-star rating. Cool. Look at all that bird shot. My gosh. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the duck models, but they're passable at least. I mean, I don't really do too much bird hunting anyway, so it doesn't bug me too much that they're not perfect. I do like the way the bird shot works, though. The bird shot's actually really cool. Wait. Wait back. Okay, let's let's back out. Cause you can still uh reclaim them. I need to activate that uh mission. There. Might as well get this mission completed while we're doing it. There we go. We got some scops over here as well. Hey, there's my wife and Sam jumping in the chat at the same time. How's it going? Oh. Okay, we did better that time. Whoa. Interesting. Kind of cool, though. I'm telling you one thing, my duck populations are going to deplete like crazy because I have no idea what is what when I'm shooting them. I'm not even spotting. You don't really have time to spot them, so I'm going to end up shooting way too many females. I can already feel it. That was a 60% mature two-star trophy rating lesser scop, though. It was pretty good, Sam. I ended up getting 11 shinies, I believe. I think I got like 11 shinies today. Wasn't too bad. Did we get any over there, or is it just over here? I think it's just here. Wait, where is that downed icon? Oh, right here. Okay, we got two of them side by side. That was definitely a female. That's unfortunate. Mature female. I like the scops. They gotta be my favorite. This is definitely my favorite uh, fowl species. The lesser scop are so cool. Anything big yet? Yeah, duck. We got a uh, four-star wild duck, which is a uh, mallard. We got a four-star mallard so far. I saw a five-star on my map like uh, five or six days ago, but it's probably dead by now. I'm hoping it's not, though. I kind of like the duck hunting, even though it's not perfectly realistic. It's actually kind of fun. Definitely not my favorite of the different hunting types in the game, but it's okay. Uh, Danielle Cormier, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. I scared across me. Bryson, remember me? Oh, I do remember you. I do remember you, man. Welcome back. I appreciate the uh, super chat. Yeah, this is early access. 
Yeah, I like the lead. I think the shotguns are very well done. I like the, the realism of the birdshot as well. It doesn't spread like crazy over like a moderate range, which is realistic. I mean, let's face it, a lot of games and movies get the spread of birdshot very incorrect. Oh, this is where I saw the five star. Do we still have it here? Oh, it's a four star there. That's still nice though. One star. Oh, there's two four stars, I think. Two four stars and a one star in there. Well, we got a chance to get some uh, cool ducks right here. If we get enough four star or five star mallards, I might make a uh, mount of them. Could be cool. Oh. I think those were all males we just took out. Ooh, definitely gotta account for a drop though. Okay, so yeah. Didn't get as many as I liked, but I think we got one of the four stars. We definitely got two males, I think. Yeah, it's a male. Is this a four star? Please tell me it is. Yes, we got a four star. Oh, and that's a 75%, so this is definitely the biggest it's going to get. Yeah, not a fan of the faces of the wild duck, but... They're okay. They're passable, at least. It's not, like, so bad that it would break my immersion too much. I definitely prefer the deer species though. They look a lot better. Is this the other? Yes it is! We got both the four stars! Wow! I probably should have let this one live though. That was almost a five star. He could definitely have made five star. But uh, there we go. We got that duck mission completed. And we also have three four star mallards now. What is older, adult or mature, and what age stage would you, or should you, before it dies, and what animal should you kill in a herd? Say a one star mature, a two star youngling, and a three adult. If it was, if it was a herd like that, you definitely would want to take out the one star mature because that would be a sign of bad genetics if it's already to the mature stage and hasn't got past one star. And um, when it comes to like the age, it varies per animal, so. As we can see right here, a mature duck is 5.1 to 10 years. A adult is 2.1 to 5. A young is 0.2 to 2. And if we take a look at something like the white-tailed deer, mature would be 6 to 8 years, adult would be 3 to 5 years, young would be 1 to 2 years. One star mature is a certified small male. It is the smallest of males. Yeah, I gotta be careful not to go over here because I crashed every time I went there before, so I think we'll actually double back. We will kind of head in this direction. Oh, that's strange, Eli. Do you maybe have the wrong arrows? Yeah, it's understandable, Savage, but... Think of it like this, um, early access is a way for people that want to buy the game to make their final decision on whether or not they actually want to get it. It provides them a, a different perspective of the game than what a trailer could. Think of it as a way to confirm whether or not you actually want to get the game. Yeah, adventure is pretty amazing. I love it. Would you ever go hunting abroad IRL? Ah, uh, maybe someday, uh, Roebuck. I'd love to do a New Zealand stag hunt at some point, but probably a long ways off. How much is the game? It's going to be $39.99. Or $49.99 for the Elite Edition, which comes with the Season Pass. Uh, and the Season Pass will give two extra maps within the next 12 months. We got another duck. 
Let's get the quacker. Consider it a four hour ad? Uh, something like that. Yeah, Savage, exactly, man. Like, it's, uh, it's a way that you guys can see more than just what a trailer would show. That way, it really helps with making your final decision on if you like the game and still want to get it. Because I know there's quite a few people that were on the fence about uh, pre-ordering the game, and quite a few people, now that they've seen it, have been like, okay, I definitely want to pre-order it. So it's a way for you to get to see more gameplay. What do we got here? Four-star mature. Gosh, this, we're finding so many four-star matures. I like it. I like what we're seeing here. What's that guy right there, though? One-star mature. Ooh. That poor little duck. He's not quite as special as the rest. We got Ross's geese over there. Nice, Collide. That's awesome, dude. How close can we get before they spook if we're slow walking? Hey, okay, little dudes. Oh my gosh, they're not easy to hit once they get far away. Well, we got one of them. Yeah, they are not easy to hit once they uh, get a little further away. What was this one? Okay, this was the four star. I mean, we're taking the right ones. Who is Ross and why does he have geese? I don't know, man. I mean, if they're just running around out here, he probably shouldn't have them. What's my favorite animal in the game? Um, let's see. Probably the whitetail. I think the whitetail are probably the most accurate one I've seen. And that really just makes me enjoy hunting them. However, I do also really love hunting the red deer. So I'd say red deer are a close second. Oh, that'd be insane, Atticus. Bison would be wild. What am I gonna hunt next? I'm not actually sure. I'm thinking we'll go check out some of the whitetail and mule deer herds just to see if we've got anything to grow to uh, something impressive. Oh, and also, I got to show you guys a buck that I found last night. Um, we've got a two-star young buck on our map. Or maybe it's a two-star adult. It was one of those, but that is a pretty good sign of a good genetics deer. So we could possibly get ourselves a five-star muley at some point. If we just let him live... And kind of watch him grow, see if we can get him to grow into something incredible. He's right around the starting area as well. He is like right down here in this herd. I'm excited to see what, uh, what type of a deer he's going to grow into. Uh, no, the animals can't fight as far as I know. I haven't seen it happen, and I don't think the developers have said anything about it either. How long do they have to grow for? I'm not actually sure. Considering the game's still pretty uh, young in its life cycle, there hasn't really been anybody that's figured that out from what I can tell. It takes at least a few hours, like at least a few hours of playing the game to see any type of change, but at the same time, I don't know how long it was growing before then either. But it definitely takes quite a while. Uh, Graham, thank you for the super chat again, dude. Really appreciate it. Always so generous with the super chats, man. Really appreciate it. That's super nice of you. Is there a rutting season? Uh, no, not right now. There is no tree stands or uh, blinds as of now. However, there is preset stands throughout the map. Right now, that's the only form of stand hunting. 
Hey, Caden, how's it going? Legit gonna buy a PS5 when they get more of it just to play this? I don't blame you, Simon. This game's amazing. This game is absolutely incredible. It is literally like the... The classic successor that we've been looking for, you know? Made by a different company, though. But it really does feel like such a such an insanely realistic game. Almost like what it could have been if EW had decided to make a classic 2. Oh yeah, Elk takes, tastes amazing. It's better than venison for sure. I absolutely love Elk. Oh, definitely duck. I, I couldn't imagine what it would be like on 4K. Provided it would even like run well. I don't know how it would run on 4K. There's a fox somewhere close. I have no clue where though. That's a branch. I'm not seeing any call outline either. I have no idea where this fox is. Oh, what was that? Okay, that was a bush. I thought maybe that there could have been a moose or something over there, but I guess not. I'm guessing this fox is over in the water? So hard to tell. Alright, later Sam. Thanks for dropping in, dude. Yes, there is multiplayer polar. I actually haven't tried Dove uh, Aviator. I've heard it's good though, but I haven't tried it myself. Hey, Wilger, you missed uh, four four-star ducks. They actually seem to be pretty plentiful. I feel like with the birds, it's actually easier to get the higher star rating ones than it is for deer. Definitely seems like it. Yeah, Trike, they do. Way less often, though. Yeah, definitely see it. I think, honestly, just for the way the shotguns perform, I think that's enough to make me like the bird hunting. I think this is the first hunting game we've seen where it actually has a realistic amount of pellets in the bird shot and it has a realistic spread for them. I mean, that alone is making me enjoy this bird hunting. We got a scop up here. Let's see if we can get close to them. Should be able to. One star scop. Come on, give us the five star. I'd love a five star scop. I absolutely love these guys. They're probably the coolest looking bird in the game. Ah, uh, no adventure. There's just pre built stands. I found that stand hunting is not the like most efficient way to hunt in this game, though, so. It definitely seems like you get more done when you're spotting stalking. Three star. One star. There's one three star scop. Uh, possibly, Kathy. I'm sure they're going to adjust things based on what people give them feedback wise. I've seen uh, quite a few people talking about it, so I'm sure they know that people want it increased. Just like some people are upset about the photo mode being so easy to uh, abuse to find animals. I'm sure they'll make tweaks. I actually haven't tried moose coal. There's, uh, not moose anywhere close to where I live. Unfortunately, Oregon doesn't have moose. So I haven't had a chance to try moose. Where'd that three star go?
There's a one star. I can't find that little three star dude though. Hey, Tyler, how's it going, man? Appreciate the super chat, dude. Uh, no, sadly, there is no 30 out 6 or 6.5. Uh, however, the developers have said that every new reserve that gets added to the game will include new weapons, so I imagine we will definitely get a 30 out 6 at some point. The same with 6.5. I could see both of those being ga uh, guns that would get added eventually, since they're both very popular. But on launch, there is none, sadly. Right now we have 243, 7mm out 8, we have 223, 22LR, 308, 300 Magnum, and uh, 338, along with a few different shotgun gauges as well. You definitely don't have to lead a lot. I feel like I'm leading too much. I think we got one of them. No, we didn't. Unfortunate. So I think we need to be closer to reliably hit them. There is no handguns as of now. No handguns or bows on launch, but they're possible additions down the road. Right now, it's just shotguns and rifles. There's moose in the top left of Oregon? Oh, there is? Well, I guess there was a few sightings a while ago. Maybe there's been more since then as well. I think I do remember hearing about it, now that I think of it. They're definitely not huntable here, though. Thank you, Duck. Yeah, that was cool. I like that mission a lot. I really like that mission. I think it's cool that they kind of added something like that into it. But that really makes me wonder, like, is there going to be rares that you can just randomly find as well? I sure hope there is. I have yet to see anybody get one. So it's uh, hard to say. Oof, yeah, that, that, uh, that lead's tough. That lead is tough to get used to. Those looked really close, and I tried, like, three different levels of lead and could not hit them. Maybe they were farther away than I thought. I mean, those ones are a hundred. Oh, can't cross there. Roughly 136 meters for those. I feel like those other ones were uh, closer than... Or I felt like they were closer than what they actually were. But it definitely seems like they were actually kind of far away. It definitely does, Kim. It's a very stunning looking game. Probably like a week from now, Peyton. Obviously, we're not going to do any Call of the Wild during Way of the Hunter Early Access since it's only like a limited four days. I'm currently playing in 1080p, Rhino. 1080p and I'm getting anywhere from like 60 to 100 FPS depending on the area while I'm streaming as well. Uh, when I'm not streaming, the frame rate's higher because obviously uh, streaming takes up a lot of resources, so I do lose FPS when I'm streaming. However, when I'm not streaming, I consistently get between like 75 and 90 FPS at basically all locations. So it's not too bad. Like, as long as you have a somewhat decent system, then it does okay. Right now, I've got a 3060 Ti as my GPU with a i7-6700K processor. And 
I'm doing pretty good on high settings. They're not completely maxed, but they're definitely way past medium. Currently running at 66 FPS while streaming, so... It's definitely not bad. Like, I saw some people saying that the FPS looked terrible in my first video, and that was just because my GPU that I used to have was overloaded. So I had to upgrade the 1070 to the 3060. 1070 is probably like the minimum you'd want in a PC to run this smoothly at high settings. Would not recommend anything below a 1070. But thankfully at this point I think most people have something better than a 1070 since it is getting kind of old. Oh yeah, your 3070 will do great. I'm using a 3060 Ti which is just barely below a 3070 and it's doing great. When, when I'm not streaming, consistent 75 plus FPS. Where are the Bighorn located? They're actually in the mountains over like in this area. I see a lot of them here. They can also be down here I think as well. Um, have not hunted a lot of them over here though. Uh, yeah, no, there is. Quite a few of them, actually. Will this game be on PS4? Unfortunately, no, Isaac, it won't. It's only on current gen consoles and PC. Oh, it's huge, Duck. This map is massive. Um, so a Call of the Wild map is 64 square kilometers. This map is 144 square kilometers. And so is the other map in the game as well, so... It's more than twice the size of a Call of the Wild map. Which also probably accounts for the fact that it's not on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Because I, I feel like those systems would have a fit trying to load a 144 square kilometer map. Kinda mad that I can't play this game on my Xbox One. Yeah, it's unfortunate, Wyatt, but I, I feel like it wouldn't perform well on the older consoles, sadly. Uh, yes, I'm playing 1080p, uh, Loric. Yeah, sadly, Lunar. Well, thankfully, in the next couple of years, PS5s and Xbox Series S and Xs should go down in price. As with pretty much any console after they've been out for a few years. And then the next generation of consoles will come out and they'll go down in price even more. Where are these ducks? They gotta be just over this little dip right here. If we can get super close to them, I'll go into photo mode so you guys can see the uh, ducks interact with the uh, world. I want to get closer though. So we actually know where they are. I'm going to try and get all the animals in view before we use photo mode from now on so that there's nothing for people to complain about. Because you can't say it's an abuse of photo mode if I've already seen the animal and know where it is. Minimum's a 950. I feel like a 950 would still have problems running it though. Oh, right there. Nice, Eric. I hope you enjoy the game. It's uh, been very fun to play, so... Mature duck. Alright. Let's take a look at these things up close. Now that we know where they are, let's watch them for a little bit. You know, even though the models may not be the best, the animations are actually kind of cool. What's the transition like? Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Could be better, but not bad. I definitely think they kind of have better animations than the models are. I love the game, Roy. It's so fun. Look at that little quacker. Yeah, those things look so cool. 
I definitely don't like the models as much as the big game models, but and like I said earlier, they're passable. They're definitely passable. Uh, sadly, no, James. It's not going to be on PlayStation 4. Just PS5, Xbox Series S and X, and PC. I got some females hanging out here. This is definitely one of my favorite parts of the game, being able to watch the animals through photo mode. Like, there hasn't been a game in recent times that has given you the option to actually just, like, free... free fly around a little bit and watch the wildlife. The old Deer Hunter games did it, but... They didn't do it in the same ways. And it's been a long time since those games have had anything in their, uh, in their franchise. Yeah, the walking does look good. I like the animations for the ducks, but I do think the mo- Ooh, what is, what is wrong with his neck? I do think the models need a little bit of work, but the animations are solid. Absolutely solid. I know, right, Rubik's? <laughs> We're just following ducks around for the rest of the stream, guys. Uh, we're we're gonna become a uh, duck watching channel, cause I know that's what uh, you guys want to see. You want to see the duck watching uh, simulator. Exactly, Wilger, and that's what I'm gonna do. Since people were complaining last stream when I used it to show off some of the animals that we hadn't actually seen yet. So from now on, I'm just going to use it once we've spotted the animal to get a close-up look. Because I think it's such a neat tool to be able to show you guys close-ups of the animals and their animations and how they interact with the world because they are so detailed in the way that they interact with things. It's a shame not to at least use it to show you guys how cool the animals are in the world. Alright, we've watched them for quite a while. Let's take them down now. How far does it go? Only like 150 meters, Top Hat Cat. It's uh, roughly 150 that you can move it around. You can unlock an extra 50% range once you complete a certain um, challenge to unlock a perk. But uh, that's going to be one of those perks that takes a long time to get because you have to collect all collectibles from Transylvania and I don't even know where you find them at this point. What is this duck right here? What are you? Three star mature. One star. There's more ducks here than I thought. There's actually a lot more here than I thought. I like how they're not even worried about me being here either. They're just kind of hanging out. Literally 20 meters away. Oh my gosh, they are so good at maneuvering. Oh my gosh. That's a male. And we're out of ammo. Oh, we got two of them. Not bad. So that's a three-star mature. 69% <laughs> genetics. Perfect. Amazing. He's doing good. Wow, that bird shot just... Oh, oh no. Oh, that poor dude. He got two in the nostril. Two shots to the nostril, one to the beak. Exactly, Wilger. It's great for thumbnails. Ah, uh, no, you can't change the zeroing for the shotgun, unfortunately. It's limited to 25 when you're using red dots. And I think red dots are the only thing that fits on it. Ooh, I hit it with just two pellets. That's unfortunate. Wait, I hit it twice. Okay. That was the kill shot. The first shot just nicked it. Second shot took it down. This was the three star, 77% genetics, so... Does it cost a taxi? It does, but only when you put it in the lodge. It's free to click taxi here, which is basically just saving it. And then when you go to the lodge and select a plaque, you can choose to select any of the animals that you've saved. And you only pay when you actually put it in the lodge. It's kind of a cool system. I'm a big fan of it.
You know guys, Mrs. Crow was telling me that uh, the duck hunting was quite a bit of fun and I didn't really try it until now and I gotta say it is fun. It may not be super realistic, but it actually is pretty fun. Yeah, Duck, we've got quite a few stuff in the lodge. We got uh, one five-star trophy so far. That was a five-star elk. And then we got a few four-stars in there as well. All right, since we're talking about the taxing system, I might as well go back here, complete this uh, mission, and also put up some of the ducks that we uh, just taxed since we had a bunch of four-star ones. Yeah, it's actually a lot of fun. I like the shotguns. They're very well made. Uh, yes, Roger, they do grow if you don't kill them. I've actually got a buck down here that I've been watching and he's uh, started growing. All right, let's see. Here's a brand new one. Had some calls regarding suspicious noises in the area from 1 to 3 a.m. with coordinates sending to this attachment. Can someone check out the area? Okay, I guess we'll accept that. What does it say to do here? Check the coordinates between 1 and 3. Okay, we're not going to do that this stream. But I do want to see if there's any place that we can end up putting these ducks, like on a mount. Is there like a multi-mount for them? Oh, we need a female for that one. And this will not be able to fit them. But here's the 5-star elk we got yesterday, guys. That is the five-star elk right there. And this is the smallest a five-star can possibly be. It was the lowest score possible for a five-star. Yeah, exactly, Johnny. <laughs> exactly. That's why I'm not going to do uh, that during the stream. But this is a couple four-star whitetail for those that haven't seen them from yesterday. I showed these off yesterday as well. These whitetail are probably the best whitetail I've ever seen in any game. Like, it's incredibly impressive at what they've done with the whitetail. These are some nice big four-star whitetail. This guy's a three-star. And then right here's a couple four-star mule deer. And these ones are very different from each other. These two four-stars have quite a few differences, especially those uh, front tines. Super bent and wonky. Now, let's see if we can find a place to put these ducks. I, I really want to find a place to put it. Oh, and also, guys, look what I got last night. Last night, after I finished uh, streaming and stuff, four-star elk. This guy right here. You can tell he doesn't have as much mass, which is why he's not a five-star. But uh, eventually, we'll make enough money to put this guy up on one of these uh, spots right here. Because that four-star looks really nice. Yeah, Johnny, I got a four-star last night. In an area I had not searched yet as well. Do any of these work with ducks? I really want to find a multi-mount I can use for multiple male ducks. I know there's one in here. I can't remember where it is, though. Is this it? No? I know there's at least one. I know you can put a single one here. Let's do it for now. I mean, they all look the same. We might as well just toss one of them right there. That looks cool. I like that a lot. What do you guys think of the duck mounts? I think they did pretty good with them. I think it's pretty cool to see. Ah, uh, not really, Caden. It's a little bit more difficult than a game like Call of the Wild to find animals. And in this game, it's not just a matter of finding animals, but also finding ones that you can shoot in order to make sure you don't cause your reserve to have small males because the ones that you take actually affect the genetics of all the animals on your map. And so taking out specific ones will cause uh, different averages to spawn on your map. Try this for a duck. That looks nice as well. Hey, Mark, how's it going, man? If there's a rare, can I make more rares? I'm actually not sure. They haven't really talked too much about that. Let's 
try that. That's cool too. I think that's my favorite. Is it just me or does it look better now? Wait a second. Did the duck's head like resize after we put it on the mount? I feel like they look better on the mounds than they do when they're alive. Hey, Dab, how's it going, dude? Thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. I officially became a Crow Bro fan. Great hunting skills, great animal observations, consistently talking to fans, all around great content creator. Well, thank you, dude. I really appreciate that. That, that means a lot, man. Super happy that you've been enjoying everything and liking the channel. I've been having quite a bit of fun showing everything off to you guys. The beak is shorter. Yeah, it does look shorter. And honestly, this looks better. I think, honestly, that's the only issue with their duck model, the more I think about it. I think the beak's just too long. Because right here, it looks very good. Um, right here, it shows up as the longer version, I think. Like, if they literally just hacked off a half an inch on the beak, it would be perfect. Where do we want to put this last one? Yeah, we can always put it up later. I think we've got enough of them up for now. We've kind of got to look at what the mounts look like for the ducks. There's a bear up there. What? I didn't know bear could even be over in this part. What fits on the wall shelf mount? Quite a few different uh, species, actually. You can put elk, mule deer, whitetail, bighorn, mountain goats, like all of the big game, really. How is there a bear right here? Just just out of nowhere, we got a random bear chilling back here. I have no idea where it could be though. Honestly, it's a female. I'm not going to shoot it anyway because it is a female. Okay, so that's where we got to go for the mission, but we're not going to do that because that requires us to go at the nighttime. Let's just activate the elk one again. All right. Yeah, let's go check out that mule deer I was talking about. Let's see if he's grown. Let's see if that muley has grown since last night. He was a two-star, either young or adult. I can't remember which one. He was either young or adult, but he was a two-star. Which means that he's going to grow up to be at least a four-star, I would imagine. We can go down there and see if he's grown even more since last night. He hangs out down by the river here. Oh no, Johnny. Not the bear jokes. Not the bear jokes. It's a five-star bear. Imagine. It can't be, though, because it is a female one. There he is, right in the middle, I think. I believe that's him. I can already see the antlers from here. That's definitely him. We're not going to shoot him, but... Ah, uh, he's either that one or that one. We got a couple decent bucks in there. They've definitely grown a bit. Nice, Skip James. I'm glad that you're uh, enjoying it. I can't wait till it's available to everybody. It's going to be exciting to see what everybody thinks about it once they get a chance to play it as well. Oh, I 100% recommend it, Tony. This game is incredible. I mean, that's kind of difficult, Eric, considering the game's not released yet. Uh, once they get matured, they can continue growing depending on how far into the mature range they are because uh, each animal has like a specific age range that is considered mature. Uh, for example, the mule deer, any mule deer between the age of 7 and 12 is considered mature. So they can grow larger even once they hit mature. Why does the background blur sometimes? That's the hunter sense. You activate Hunter Sense to be able to see spotting information when you're within 300 meters. You also do it to activate uh, the highlights of tracks and to be able to see calls. Indeed, Wizardry, I have. What is the order of ages? It goes young, adult, and then mature. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely, Fluff. Definitely. I've been uh, keeping tabs on some of my herds to see if any of them grow, and I've seen a few occasions already where they've grown. We even got to see a live on stream yesterday. We had a four-star elk. We couldn't get a shot into him. I went back, reset the time, and by the time we had drove back over there, it had turned into a five-star. It was just barely into the five-star, but we got to see it uh, grow within like 30 minutes. It was pretty cool. It must have been just about to grow into a five-star when I had initially spotted it as a four-star. It was so cool to see. Recommended loadout? To be honest, there's so many loadouts you could use in this game. I've really been liking using the 308 along with the 223. I think that's a very solid loadout. However, if you want to be able to take birds as well, 308 plus 20 gauge seems pretty good. I haven't yet, Wilger. I will at some point, though. I do want to do kind of a hardcore playthrough. Not sure when we'll end up doing that. I'll probably play on this mode more. Before I end up uh, going up in a difficulty. There it is. That's a two-star adult. So, yeah, we got a two-star adult. A one-star young. And a one-star adult. We honestly want to get that one-star adult out of there, probably. Yeah, we'll definitely want to take down the one-star adult. Yeah, Brent, there's four different difficulties in the game, and it uh, determines how easily the animals spook. And if you play on the hardest difficulty, it takes away the hunter sense that we're using right now to, like, spot the animals and uh, pick up tracks and stuff. In the highest difficulty, you don't get hunter sense at all. Animals are incredibly easy to spook. And the cool thing is it doesn't affect how big your animals can get. Like, you're not going to be punished for playing on an easy difficulty. However, on your trophy screen, it will tell you what difficulty you played on when you killed it. And so that's going to be a way that we can differentiate, like, what modes somebody got a trophy on. No, yay. It's not going to do anything to Call of the Wild. They're very different games. This game's much more slow-paced and uh, realistic. Way of the, or uh, Call of the Wild is way more fast-paced and, I guess, arcade style. The game ha always has something to shoot. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa! Five-star pheasant! Whoa, whoa, where, where, where? Five-star pheasant! There's a five-star pheasant! Oh. My gosh. Wait, where did it go? Where did it go? It's somewhere in here. There's a five-star pheasant. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be my second five-star. That is so cool. I don't have a pheasant mounted yet, either. The problem is I can't see them, so we got to get really close. Man, the second that we think we're about to take down that uh, coal buck, we end up spotting a pheasant that is just incredible. That's him right there. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We got a five-star pheasant in front of us. 60 meters away. Now, we don't have to flush them in this game. We can just blast this guy on the ground if we need to. I'm going to try and flush it, though. I, I want to get it out of the air with the 20 gauge. I definitely think that's going to be more fun. This is him. Man, it's going to be difficult to pick him out of the bunch when they take off, though. We got to keep uh, close attention on which one he is, because there is at least five males here. Four of them are pretty close together. We might have to try and take him off of the ground so we don't mix them up. I mean, if all else fails, though, we can always just reset the time and come back here. That's cool. Look at that beauty right there. 28 meters. We know which one he is. We got him, I think. I'm pretty sure that was the five star we just took down.
I'm pretty sure we just got him. Oh, I only have... I only have five, six shells left? I'm almost positive we ended up getting the five star. If not, we can reset the time. I definitely saw one of them drop, though. Question is how far? Or did we miss? We may have missed. Oh, that's that's poop. Okay. I might honestly switch uh, red dots. I feel like this one's a little bit more difficult to see through because of the tint on it. I definitely feel like it was easier to see through the other one. And I can't take it off when we're out here. Didn't I pass it? I don't think so, no. It's behind me. I walked past it. Where? Where? Oh, you're right. I did. Okay, you guys, you guys are uh, very sharp today, I see. This is like the third time that I've completely missed something that you guys immediately saw. Is that him? I think it's him. Let's get a uh, trophy shot of him. Hmm, don't really like the lighting on any of these. I mean, nah, that lighting's not great. That's good enough. We'll screenshot that. Let's see. Is this the five star? It was. We got the five star. Let's go, guys. We got the five star pheasant. 91% genetics. So it's kind of midway between the minimum score for a 5 star and the max score. Max score is 500 on all species, so this one was kind of like halfway through. That's cool. We only got a 4 star hunt rating though, because apparently we hit it twice. Apparently we ended up hitting this thing twice, so we only got 4 star hunt rating. That's kind of sad, but... You know, it is what it is. We still got him down and he's still a five star, so that's pretty cool. Let's uh, head back up to the outpost. I didn't expect to be mounting a five star pheasant already, but that's cool. I wish so too, Adventure. I wish you could change the poses of the downed animals. That would be very nice. Maybe one of these days. What do you mean, Brandon? I, I reply to like half of your messages. Just because I don't respond to one of them doesn't mean that I can't see them. You do realize there's over 600 people in here right now, right? I, I can't possibly see every single message that pops up in the chat box. Where should we put this dude? He needs to have one of the special mounts. We can maybe put him over here next to the 5 star elk. Like, maybe on this? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Five-star pheasant. Amazing. That's a really cool pose, too. I think that looks really good. Buy more ammo? You actually don't buy the ammo. I'll show you what you do to get more ammo. So whenever you run out, what you're going to want to do is come out here. Well, it doesn't have to be out here. Like, you can do it any storage, but I'm just going to show you guys the vehicle because a lot of times you'll be away from an outpost and may need to restock. This is how you do it. You just open your storage, and now we've got 50 shells again. Yeah, I think that's what we'll try to do, Anna. I'm going to make that area my main area where I keep all of the best of the best. Definitely could be great. How many spots are in the lodge? I don't know. I think like 50. 
Probably more, to be honest, because a lot of them you can put multiple trophies on. I saw some people saying that it seemed like the lodges were too small, but considering this game's very slow paced and it's hard to get good trophies, I think it'll still take a long time to fill the lodge with good stuff. Uh, let's go check out some of the whitetail and mule deer, see if we got any five stars. Oh yeah, I gotta change the site, that's right. Let's go ahead and get our vehicle out. We'll get the yellow one this time. We haven't used the yellow one at all. Not uh, on stream at least. Yeah, pretty much aviator. I mean, uh, to be fair though, like with the amount of diamond red deer I've seen ever since I started doing herd management, diamonds lost like all excitement for me for red deer. And so it's hard to get super excited about them, but this game's fresh. Like, nobody knows the best of the best way to get the five-star trophies yet, so anytime you see one, it's very exciting. Is this on console? It will be on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X starting on August uh, 16th. How many four to five stars have you got? Only two five-stars. And then I've killed, I think, five or six four-star? And that is out of, let's see, that's out of 177 animals. So it's pretty crazy that out of 177 animals, I've only seen like five four stars and two five stars. Uh, Dalton, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. Hope you've been having a great day. Minimum score for five stars for all animals is 460. And the max score is 500. What have I got for the five stars? As of now, we've managed to get a pheasant and an elk. A couple of pretty cool five star trophies. I really want to get a five star mule deer and whitetail though. And red deer. Like that's my top three most wanted five star trophies. Oh, I have no clue then, Brandon. I have no clue. You probably broke the rules in chat if you can't uh, see your messages on your other account. The mods only ban people if they repeatedly disregard the rules and don't listen to what the mods are telling them. If you got banned, it was probably because you repeatedly broke the rules. We don't ban for just any reason. You have to have broken the rules a few times, uh, ignored warnings, and then you get a ban, so... Chances are, if you can't see any message on, messages on your main account, you're probably either disregarding rules or we're continuously back-talking the mods. You don't have to buy ammo? No, you don't. The game will be $39.99 or uh, $49.99 for the Elite Edition, which comes with the Season Pass, which will basically just give you the next two DLC maps for free. Well, technically not for free because you have to buy the season pass, but you'll get them cheaper that way. Hey, Chip, how's it going? Oh, it's Gamma. How's it going, Gamma? How you doing? Hope you're doing good. What do we got down here? Do we have any of the herds that hang out at this area? There's a chance that they're just not hanging out here because of the pressure. Because I have hunted this area very heavily, so... Oh, there's some. We got some young ones, which is to be expected as we have hunted this area a lot. I've taken down quite a few of the mature bucks that were here. Ooh, that's a four-star mature. Oh my gosh, we got a four-star mature. Do we let it live, guys? Do we let it live? Do we try to grow it up to be a five star? I've already got two four star whitetail. I might try to let this one grow. I'm gonna bring up a poll.
All right, guys, I put up the poll. Be sure to vote on it. Uh, Brandon, thank you so much for the super chat. Didn't realize I was on alt. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I appreciate the super chat, but I really don't know what your alt was even named, so I have no clue, like, why you're not able to see it. Wow, 82% of you want to see it uh, grow, hopefully, so I guess we'll do that. We'll let it live, and hopefully it will become a giant. In that case, let's see if there's any others in that herd that we can take down. We might be able to take down a bad genetics buck at the very minimum. Like, if we're going to let him live, I want to see if we can take down one of the bad genetics tier. Photo mode, we could go check it out with the photo mode, but we're kind of far away for that. We got to be closer to be able to get close enough to actually see it. Is this your favorite game? It is now, Ola. It is my favorite game now. Th this game is honestly something special. Such a beautiful buck, man. Even the 4-star whitetail just looks so stunning. I cannot wait to see if he can actually grow into a 5-star. There's a chance that he'll die before then. But honestly, that's a, that's a risk I'm willing to take because I really want a 5-star. And so if he doesn't die, then that's going to be incredible. We got a couple of one-star youngs. We don't necessarily want to cull those out as we don't know uh, really what their genetics are like. I want to let them get to adult. Then we'll know whether or not they're going to be ones that we want to take down. Gosh, that mature four-star is insane, though. Oh, I already uh, did that, Brandon. Um... Those videos were recorded a long time ago, like a week and a half ago. I have upgraded since then. At the time that I was... Rec oh. No, they spooked. I didn't realize there was mule deer that close. Well, anyway, as I was saying, at the time I recorded those, I had a 1070. Now I've got a 3060 Ti, and it does really well. Hardline RC, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Will there be bows added, and how does the animal management actually work? Love the gameplay. Well, thank you, dude, first of all. I'm glad you enjoy, and I really appreciate the support there. But basically, the way that the herd management works is you want to take down low genetics or bad genetics deer or whatever animal it is and leave the good genetics ones, and that will, over time, cause them to produce more consistent large deer. And one way that you can really tell if it's one that you need to cull out of your herds is, for example, if you see a mature deer that is only a one-star trophy rating, it more than likely has bad genetics. And so that would be an example of a buck you would want to take down if you want to hopefully have your deer grow larger over time and just more often produce better genetics animals. And like a good genetics animal would be, like, for example, an adult, an adult animal that is at least a two-star. That one most likely has some pretty good genetics, and if you see a four or a five star uh, a mature, that's also a sign of really good genetics. So basically, the higher the star rating is in relation to its age, the, the more chances that it's a good genetics animal. The bigger it is at a younger age, the better the animal's genetics. And so, for example, if you were to just kill all of the good genetics animals and never shot a bad genetics one, your herds would end up having a lower average genetics across the board, and that would cause less and less big animals to spawn. Or, I guess, less and less good genetics animals to spawn. And uh, vice versa, if you ended up killing off all of the bad genetics animals and didn't ever shoot any of the good genetics ones, eventually your map would be able to produce giants very consistently. And they also have it so advanced that if you shoot only does, your populations will decrease over time and you'll have less animals on the reserve because you're shooting all, you'd be shooting all of the uh, females that would be able to breed and have more uh, babies. So it's a very in-depth system. 
Okay, like this is a good example of one that's probably average to bad genetics. Two star mature buck. Most likely won't get past a three star at its peak, so we would take this guy down. Get a shot into him. There he goes. Dexter, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Great content. Is there any way to change the red spotting font in the binos to something easier to see? Unfortunately, there isn't as of now. I've seen it be a pretty uh, common request to add some colorblind settings to the game so that uh, those types of things can be changed. But as of now, there's nothing like that. I imagine the developers will add some things down the line. They have talked about how there's some things that will eventually get added, like an FOV slider and more customization for like settings. So I imagine one of these days we'll be able to change the colors of stuff. Best way to let the developers know that you want something like that would be to go to their Discord and uh, post a message in their questions chat. They answer questions pretty much every day and are always in there reading them. So if you have something like that that you'd like to tell them, that is uh, probably the place to do it. Yeah, true, Wilger. True. I actually want to show you guys something. I keep forgetting to do this. But this actually is very nice. If I left click to shoot and I don't let go, it will not uh, chamber the next round until I release the left click. Now he chambers the round. And that can help you with uh, trying to see where the bullet impacts a little bit better. I need to remember to do that more. I'm so used to just clicking and immediately letting go. Wait, where was this thing that we shot? Did I mark way farther back than I should have? I might have accidentally marked far back. I think it was around here. Uh, Hardline, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Thanks for going so in-depth with my question. Anything about bows? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the bows. Uh, y there is no information on bows yet. They have said it's always a possibility in the future, but there will be no bows on launch. But thank you for the super chat again, man. Really appreciate it. But sadly, there's no news on bows right now. I got a feeling they'll add them eventually, though, because there is a lot of people that have been requesting them. I've seen so many requests for bows, so... Would not be surprised if we eventually do get bows. Sadly, no, Cajun. There is no fawns in the game. The lowest it goes is young, which is a one to two year old deer. Nice, Cole. Nice. Oh, maybe they were this far out. Let's see if we can find any blood. I mean, it marked on the tree. I feel like I marked too far back. I, I don't feel like it was this far away. Uh, Andre, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope you've been doing great. Hope you've been having a fantastic day. That is, uh, super generous of you. Yeah, we definitely marked way too far back. I, I don't know what happened there. I think he was honestly on this slope. But I don't see the blood as of now, so that's a problem. Gonna make it harder to tell. Yeah, there's no way it was any further back than this. Wanna see you drop a bear? We might at some point. I've been having trouble finding the bears. We killed one yesterday, but that's the only bear that I've actually got within range of. We heard a call from one earlier today, but it was a female, so I didn't chase after it. Wait. Okay, that is urine. Don't want that. All right, we might need to go back to where we took the shot from. Uh, would somebody be able to go back in the stream and watch where we shot it? I don't remember where it was standing. I know we were down on this bridge, or like around the bridge.
Can you jump in the game? Yes. Not the greatest jump, but you know, it gets the job done if you need it. What about dogs in the game? There is no dogs as of now, but it's possible in the future. Oh yeah, that definitely got placed way farther than I took the shot. I feel like it was further up here. I'm currently on the Adventurer difficulty, which is the second difficulty. I've found this difficulty to be plenty hard, so I've just kept it on what the default is. There is no blinds, however there is pre-built stands, and they are free to use once you discover them. Yeah, definitely tanking. I feel like, honestly, I think Ultimate Hunting is still going to do well. It's still going to be a cool game. But with the kind of pushback for their release date, it's definitely going to kill off some of the hype for it, sadly. Maybe we need to go up further. If I can just find a little bit of blood, that's all we need. Just a little bit of blood. And no, they don't go in rut. And there's no need to repeat the same question. You got to give me a little bit of time to reply to it, you know? It's not like I can just instantly see every message. Sometimes if you look through the binoculars while in Hunter's Sense, you can kind of see the outlines of blood. I feel like it had to be around here, though. Because I remember it was near some bushes by some trees, but I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of those around here. And this is why it's good to make sure that you know exactly where you shot it. Uh, I believe so, Ben. I think you have to complete the first, like, three or four missions. And then once you unlock the store, you're able to, uh, choose difficulty and play the other reserve. Oh, is this it? No. Yeah, this is a prime example of why it's very good to pay attention to where you shoot your deer. Otherwise, you might completely lose it like this. Yeah, I have no idea where this thing went. We might have to call it quits and just go for a different animal. Uh, we can head back here and maybe try to go to roughly the same spot we shot it from, which I think we were up here, kinda. Stand on the slope so you can see the bridge and a bit to the left of the bridge and then you're in the general area? Okay. So kind of like over here then. Here is how we managed to get a marker there. I think I know how. Oh, this looks familiar. Yeah, I think I see what it would be. Let me try something. <laughs> how did we get the marker over there? I'm actually curious now. How did we get the marker clear over there? Because I think it was more like in this area that we shot it. It really is, Duck. I, I I don't expect you guys to perfectly be able to tell me where I got it, but... I think it was a bit back this way because I know the doe was sitting on this hillside. That is the spot? Okay, awesome. I thought that was kind of the general area, but I wasn't sure. Um, I think it's a global release, Amazing CJ. I think it should release everywhere at the same time. 
But they haven't really talked about release time. Now to try and spot this blood. I don't see anything flashing. It is for sure on this hillside though. It reacted like it was a lung hit, so we definitely should have had a good solid impact. Now it's just going to be a matter of like figuring out where the blood is. This is uh, the most trouble I've had on a deer in a while. It ran up the hill, so maybe we just need to move up further. Maybe we'll be able to find it if we're lucky. All else fails, I can always find it later. The animals don't disappear once you kill them, so... You can always come back and try to find it at a later date. Further right more- wait. Okay, that's just a regular trail. This is where they ran though, so he definitely would have ran somewhat in the same direction. No sign of blood at all. Maybe Wilger, but I don't want to have to... I don't want to have to stop and watch the playback of the stream. There's a feed zone. Wait! There it is! We found the blood! Oh, a small amount of blood. It's actually not a good hit. He's still alive. I thought that was a solid hit, but I guess we didn't get vitals. Well, he's gonna live then. If it says small amount of blood, it was a bad hit and he's not gonna die. So I think we reset the time and we'll just continue hunting. If he comes back, great. If he doesn't, we'll get him another day. Now, this is Way of the Hunter, Casey's games. A lot sure we'll do that at some point during the stream. We already looked through it uh like 30 minutes ago. Let's go hunt the rest of the herds though. I can't believe that we've already been streaming for like an hour. This game honestly makes time fly. Uh, no, Brian, sadly no. It's not on Game Pass. You know, maybe by now that four-star buck will have grown to a five-star. I don't know how quickly they grow, so... Might be worth it to go take a look. It's been an hour and 36 minutes already. That's crazy. Hey, Smash, we got a five-star pheasant earlier. And we found a four-star whitetail. We're trying to let him grow to be a five-star and... I'm hoping that he won't die before then. Is this available on the Game Boy? Probably. Uh, def definitely, I would say it probably is.
We got muleys. Our guy might be here. This might be the same herd. Yeah, we hunted ducks for the first, like, 45 minutes or so. First 30 or 45 minutes was duck hunting. One star mature. Is that our guy? He was a one star mature, right? There's a couple one star matures here. Yeah, it's a one star mature buck. Let's go prone. I did it again. I released too soon and he chambered another round. So we weren't actually able to see the animations as clear as I would have liked. Well, it is what it is. We at least got a good hit into that buck. All the mule deer are running right through the area where the white tail normally are though. So that's a bit of a problem. Though it's not guaranteed that the whitetail will be drinking in the same spot. They could have moved as well. Oh, there's whitetail. They are in the same spot. Where's our four star guy? And is he a five star now? I am so eager to see if this guy's going to be a five star now. He's a five star! Yes! Oh my gosh, he's a five star now! It worked, guys! We let him live and he's a five star now! Oh my gosh, yes! We made the right decision, guys. Letting him live was the right decision. Oh my gosh, what a giant white tail. That is so cool. We once again got to see him grow in real time. That is just so cool. You know, it's this feature alone. The fact that they age that makes this one of the best hunting games ever. The fact that they age and grow and eventually die and have their own like genetic system. This is what had me sold the second I learned about it. So cool. So, so cool. Alright, let's move slowly. We don't want to spook him off. Yeah, the wind is pretty bad. We're probably going to take a longer range shot here. I need to get him in view again. I assume he's probably behind the brush. Yeah, he's definitely behind the bushes. Question is where? I think that's him way back in the back. Yeah, that's a young buck. We got two young bucks side by side. Got another young buck there. The five star has to be kind of in the back or maybe it's even that guy. I see a buck there right in the middle. Uh, we can see a little closer with the scope. That's uh, definitely not him. That might be, though. Yeah, that's him right there, I think. Um, why can't I pull out my binos? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I, I can't... Uh-oh. I, I can't write... I can't... Uh-oh. I can't switch anything. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, uh, time to show off another feature of the game. It completely pauses the world if you exit to main menu. Everything will be exactly how things were when you left it. Because I need to I need to be able to switch to my binos and scope in in order to get him. I can't get him if I can't scope in. <laughs> that was so strange. 
How many restarts did I do during it? We only reset the time once. We only had one time reset. Okay, here we go. There, I can aim now. That's him, I think. See, isn't that so cool, guys? It completely saves your progress whenever you go to the main menu. There's our five-star giant. Oh, I can't aim up. I can't aim high enough here. Oh, I can't aim high enough. Okay. We're probably not going to be able to prone unless I can get on more flat ground. This might work. There we go. Wow, what a beauty. That is a beautiful deer. What a magnificent animal. Let him become bigger? I don't know if we should risk it. We don't know if he's at the end of his life cycle. I don't know what the colorations and scarring on the fur looks like when they're at their absolute max, so... I don't know if I want to risk, uh, risk that. Wow, look at him. That is truly incredible. Let's move slightly closer. I kind of don't like that we have to shoot between some branches, as the branches do kind of block shots occasionally. Oh yeah, we're definitely taking him down, guys. Definitely taking him down. Because I don't want to risk uh, letting him grow anymore, as he could die at any time now, since he's a 5-star mature. He's about as big as he's going to get. There's always a chance he could grow slightly larger, but I don't know if we want to risk it. This is my first 5-star whitetail. So with this guy, we're not going to risk it. We might do it with the next one, though. He's going down. Oh my gosh. We got him. We got him, guys. Where did he bed down? He definitely didn't go far, so shouldn't be too hard to find him. I just wish we could spot where he bedded down. There's the blood. Um, I think that's him. That's him right there. Oh my gosh, what a giant whitetail. Ever since I saw the five star that Mel got, I really have been wanting one. That's so cool that we actually got to watch it grow from a four to a five star on stream again. Like, we did that with the elk yesterday. And now we managed to do that with a whitetail. We're already doing better than yesterday. Yesterday we had one five star, today we've already got two five star trophies going so much better already. Medium amount of blood. There he is. Wow, look at him. Now that's a trophy whitetail. This is a different rack than the one Mel got as well. That's really cool. This is a completely different rack configuration. And it's got a different uh, level of wear on the tines as well. Let's get a picture of this. That looks really good. However, we could get the character angled a little bit better. Oh yeah, that's the one. That right there is the one. What is that? It's a five star whitetail, Caitlin. What a beauty. Five star whitetail deer. Massive. The tip to tip's really tight on this guy actually, wow. This one was 94% genetics. 
So I think this probably was the biggest it was going to get. Let's see what the score was. 478. That's a big one. That's a big deer. Max score is 500. Uh, minimum score to be a 5 star is 460. I think we did make the right decision. I think this was the biggest he was probably going to get. Because I feel like in order to hit 500, he probably would have needed like perfect genetics. That is awesome. Let's get some screenshots of the kill screen here. Gosh, that giant rack just looks insane. All right, let's tax him. What a beautiful buck. Well, one thing to remember also, Karma, is it's a custom uh, scoring system. It's not like real life scoring. Uh, the scoring that they use is a their own combination of Boone and Crockett and CIC. It's the two systems combined to make a universal scoring system that can be used on all species. Nice, Levi. Yeah, it's amazing. This game is great. Yeah, definitely, Daniel. I, th I have seen them kind of die with varying levels of their mouths, like, being open or closed. So I think it is possible for them to be different. See, this is a four-star buck that we killed a while back, before I was able to stream it. We definitely got to put our five-star in here. Wow, we can do two whitetail fighting. I think we got to do it, right? Like... Save up a little bit more money and then we can put him there. Uh, for now, we can temporarily put him on the wall since it's cheap. Let's put him with all of these other whitetail, I think. Yeah, let's put him right here for now. Since it's only 175, we can remove him if we need to at some point, but I just want to have him on the wall so we can compare them. Wow, that's a beast. What a tank of a whitetail. And then these were the other four stars that I ended up getting. You can definitely tell the difference in size. This guy is probably like one size below what that five is. This is probably a very large four. And honestly, looking at these antlers, I probably could have let this one live to be a five. Well, you know, you live and you learn. We will slowly discover like what we need to do. Something that's really cool though is with this uh, four star right here, you can really see how much wear is on the fur. And the fur is not quite as worn on either of these on the wall. And in fact, they've got different patterns on their fur. Look at this. So you guys see the shoulder right here, or like, I guess it's right above the shoulder base of the neck. It's a tan patch right there. There's really no black except for on the back. On this guy, like it's got a noticeable darker patch right there. And then you see this guy and he's like super, super dark and beat up. And then, then if we check this one out, he's got an extra dark patch on his neck right there that none of these have. Every single one of these has a different fur pattern and uh, coloration. That is uh, one of the best examples we've been able to see of the, the system that they have in place to kind of show the age of animals with the fur. Because all of these look different. All of them have at least some minor details that are different. Gorgeous whitetail bucks. And all of them have a different rack as well. None of them are exactly the same. And then we got, uh, whatever this guy is. <laughs> this one was like a one star, I think. Wonky dude. Yeah, non-typicals would be insane for sure. I hope we get them eventually. Would love to see them add uh, non-typicals at some point. So today we managed to get two five stars already. 
We got this pheasant, and then the whitetail, and that goes along with the elk we got yesterday, so... We've got three five stars as of now. And what's crazy is, like, there's probably still multiple racks to get for the elk, and for the whitetail for five stars, because I know for a fact the one that Mel got was completely different. Um, I know for a fact there's at least one or two more elk five star racks, so we got lots to look for still. And then also to look for like the combinations of two different antlers on the five stars. Still lots to look for. Let's go see if those muleys have grown at all. Uh, what time is it? 10.02. Yeah, we could definitely go check them. Oh, we still need to go collect that other muley as well. I guess after we check the deer down here, we'll go claim that one that we shot. Because I want to see if that two-star adult has uh, transitioned to the mature stage yet. Or if it's gone up in trophy rating as an adult as well. I might have access to both of them, Tyler. Oh, and also, just a heads up to anybody that was not uh, here earlier in the stream. All of the videos that you guys are seeing go up on the channel. Those have been recorded more than a week ago. So a lot of the stuff that I say in those videos isn't relevant anymore. Like, I know in some of the videos I've been talking about, like, oh, I don't know if I have access to everything or I can't figure out how to unlock stuff. Those were recorded a long time ago. At this point, we've got all of the guns and stuff purchased and unlocked. We've hunted a lot of the species, unlocked a lot of the map. Those videos are quite behind compared to where our progress is right now. What's my favorite animal so far? Uh, definitely the whitetail. I believe they're 12 and 14 from what I've seen, Daniel. I think 14 is the largest they get. Like, they don't go uh, to 16 point like the Call of the Wild whitetail do. I've seen a couple big 6x6 six six bucks as well. But yes, a lot of them are 7x7s. Seven because seven I think the 5 stars are supposed to be like... The biggest that you could possibly see. And you know, a lot of the giant deer in real life would be 7x7s seven seven as well. And those would be considered to be, you know, like record class trophy deer. Uh, possibly at some point, Kendrick. They haven't talked about anything like that. So who knows? I'm not sure, Joel. I actually haven't been able to confirm whether or not you do. I've seen some people say that they did lose money, and then I've seen others say they didn't. I didn't notice any money loss when I left a doe for a couple days. Can there be like a 5x7? I haven't seen a 5x7, but I've seen a 6x7, and I've seen like a 3x4 as well. And like a 3x5 even, I think. So they can have variations like that, but I have yet to see a 5x7. Definitely seen a 6x7 though. One star adult. Mature doe. That doe's getting really old. She is super gray now. Still a two-star adult. Okay, so he has not grown. Good to know. Now that we've checked up on that guy, let's go claim the other one down here. Let's go claim that mule deer. I love them, CJ. And it's not necessarily the size of the red deer racks that I like, it's the fact that they look like real red deer that you would actually find in Transylvania. They didn't go for like the super massive ones that you would see in Call of the Wild, as a lot of those are based off of New Zealand stags. And since Transylvania is not New Zealand, uh, the deer don't grow as large. The red deer are not going to be quite as big as what you're used to in other games, because they went the realistic route. And when you actually see the red deer in game, they do seem bigger than what it looks like on like the trailers they've done. I definitely noticed that when my wife found her five star red deer, that was like one point off of max score, it looked a lot bigger in game than they do on like uh, trailers that they've been showing off. Yeah, me too, CJ. I love the New Zealand stags, but 
I appreciate the realism level they went for with them in this game. The same with the elk. Like, I think the elk looked pretty good. I am 100% positive, though, that at some point they'll probably make changes down the line, maybe add some more variation. Because this is just what we've got on launch. We've got all of this uh, different detailed things at the launch of the game. I can only imagine like the type of the type of stuff that they will add over the next two or three years. I could totally see them adding more racks for existing animals. What's my favorite map? So far I'm liking this one the best, uh, Nez Perce Valley. I really enjoy hunting antlered game and, you know, deer species are some of my favorites. So the fact that we have whitetail and mule deer on this map along with elk and moose, it uh, really makes me enjoy this map quite a bit. Definitely, Craig. Definitely. I That was one of the first things I noticed too was one of the first herds of deer that I spotted. You could see like their tails, uh, their tails kind of wagging. They'd occasionally like flick their tails. They'd, you know, flick their ears like you mentioned. It's just so cool to see them take so much, uh, take so much uh, real realism and detail and put it in the game. Because that's really something that's never been done before. Hey Daniel, how's it going, man? Yeah, I know, Mello. I know they're not quite as big as people think, but they're still bigger than, like, in other locations. Like, a wild New Zealand stag is still going to be bigger than, like, a, a Transylvania stag. But yeah, I get what you're saying. They're not as big as a lot of the ones you see online because a lot of those are from uh, game ranches. A lot of blood. Okay, so we definitely hit an artery on this deer. And also, this is a good example of what I was talking about, where animals stay on the map even if you close the game. We had to go to the main menu to fix that glitch with our uh, rifle not being able to scope in. And all this blood is still there. The deer is still right here. It's honestly a very nice feature, the fact that it saves the progress of whatever you were doing. So this was a very small uh, one-star mature, I believe. Yeah, one star mature buck, 53% genetics. Oof. Glad we got him down. You can also tell he's not perfectly even either. In fact, he's quite wonky. Quite wonky for sure. And I've definitely noticed the bad genetics animals have wonkier racks. Which makes sense. It's a nice little a bit of attention to detail on their part. How many maps are there? Currently two, Hampus. Currently two maps at launch, and they plan to release two more within the next 12 months. Yeah, I'm not sure, Craig. I guess we'll find at some point uh, whether or not you actually lose some of the sellable meat. I've seen a few, pe few people saying that you do. But I haven't uh, tested it enough. Oh, those mule deer spooked. We didn't get to finish going down the river, so we're going to finish this little river run and see if we can get some uh, view on some of the other herds. Hey, Sled, how's it going, man? This game's going to suck. Won't be able to sleep for days on end. I know, man. It it's so addicting. It really, like, immerses you and puts you in the moment and makes you feel like you're actually hunting. Pretty impressive. I love it. That would be cool, Karma. I would like to see uh, shotgun slugs for sure. Because it is kind of unfortunate that it's only birdshot on launch. Definitely, William. Definitely. A lot more realism in this game for sure.
Yeah, it's understandable, Barley, but... I don't think having a small lodge is going to matter too much because it's difficult to get big trophies. At least me personally, I'm probably not going to fill my lodge for at least a few hundred hours. Because it's uh, pretty hard to find the five-star trophies. You got to spend a lot of time kind of cultivating your herds. Yeah, I've had a couple things like that too, James. I found a doe on stream yesterday that I had shot like four or five days ago. I don't remember uh, how much money it gave us though. We got some deer over there, but I, I only see one buck and it's not super insane. I mean, one star adult, that's probably one that we want to cull out. I'm trying to just save the two star adults. One star probably won't amount to much. Should we go for the next shot? Might be able to. Oof. Yep, we got it. And this is why I said earlier that next shots might be a pretty good option if you don't want to have to track them. If you trust your aim enough, then I definitely think neck shots are going to be a good option. Somebody was telling me spine shots are pretty good, but I haven't been able to get a good uh, example of one, so... I still need to test if spine shots are good. Neck shots are definitely insane, though. Poor little deer. Yeah, right into the neck bone, which they count that as the spine. And you get full hunt rating for it. Oh no, it had 99% genetics. We shot the wrong deer. No, we shot the wrong deer. <laughs> this is not the one star adult. This is a one star young. No, we just killed a potential max scorer. Oh, definitely, Jim. You could totally get, like, a year out of, uh, out of these two maps. For sure. I've spent over 70 hours playing, and I've only explored, like, a fifth of Transylvania and, like, a third of Nez Perce Valley. You could get probably over a thousand hours out of the two base game reserves. Yeah, this is unfortunate, guys. I uh, did not mean to shoot this guy. I thought there was only one buck in the herd, so... I just assumed this was the one star adult, but it was the one star young. That's sad. Ah. Uh, this one was probably super young as well. Because it's only a three by three. Gosh, that probably would have been an absolute giant when it uh, grew up. That sucks. Oh well. It is what it is. That's the second good genetics deer that we've accidentally killed way too young. Me too, William. Me too. I'm really happy they added it. It's such a good rifle. And it performs pretty well in game as well. Gene pool ruined, I know, right? You know, at least we already got a five-star whitetail. Do you think this will pull people from classic? Oh, definitely, Brent. I think it will. Because it's got a lot of stuff that everybody always wished the classic would have. No, we spooked off some muleys. Well, hopefully they won't spook everything else in the area. Lots of two-star matures. Uh, sure, Faded. I think I missed it. There was three level nine red deer? That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Yeah, Wraith, it's really cool. It's definitely my favorite part of the game. 
Oh yeah, there's definitely lots of things they could add in the future. Oh my gosh, if they ever add non-typicals to the game, that's gonna add a whole new level of stuff, like... Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Isn't a non-typical buck typically the product of an injury or bad genetics? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it usually entails that the animal either broke an antler or had some type of weird thing going on in its genetics. So, if that was the case, that might introduce the possibility of needing to, like, reverse your genetics and keep the bad genetics animals at the chance of getting non-typicals. That would add like a whole new level to it. Do you want to try and go for five star trophies or non-typicals? Though, like I said, I'm not 100% sure if that's how it works. But I know for a fact injuries can cause uh, non-typical antlers. But I'm not sure about the genetics thing. Saw a monster at the back of the herd? It definitely could have been. I haven't uh, shot a mule deer out of that herd in a little bit because they always spook. Definitely could have been a big one. All right, let's go ahead and probably move over to this little section over here. This is where we found a big four star yesterday. It can be both. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of people saying it can be both, so. Yeah, if they ever do that, it could be really cool. I definitely think if they ever add them, you know, it could definitely bring in a whole different level of herd management where instead of only keeping the good genetics animals, you might want to keep bad genetics ones if, you're, if your top priority is finding non-typicals. That'd be really cool. Uh, no, it's not the same engine as Call of the Wild. This is actually on Unreal Engine 4. Honestly, it's kind of impressive for a UE4 game. Like, they're not even on the newest version of Unreal Engine, and it still looks incredible. Uh, kind of, Tails. There's definitely some things that they used from the Cabela's series, especially, like, the kill screen. And that's partially because they... The dev team is actually made up of Cabela's devs and some of the DayZ developers. But, like, the development team behind this game has worked on DayZ, they've worked on all the Cabela's games, so there's a lot of veteran developers behind uh, this project. And that's also why there is some kind of Cabela's-esque features. Very happy that uh, they eventually decided to make a game like this that's more realistic than what the Cabela's games were. I remember I always played the Cabela's games and I was always thinking to myself, man, if they ever tried to do like a realistic The Hunter Classic style game, it could be insane. And then they finally did it, and it's just as incredible as I ever could have wanted. Yeah, exactly, Mythical Hunter. That's what I was thinking, too. Like, daisy has got really nice-looking open-world maps. And so it makes sense that the maps in this game would be very nice-looking as well. Yeah, we might at some point, Alexander. We're kind of just checking up on some of the herds that we visited yesterday to see if we got any new deer that have grown. But we could definitely uh, look for some moose at some point. I need to get some cash anyway for taxing animals, and moose give great cash, so... We could definitely do a little bit of moose hunting if we have time. Oh no, BDF, that sucks, man. That sucks. I've still been doing some of the red deer grind at night um, after I get done with my streaming and stuff like that for the day and uh, had lots of diamonds show up as we have been but not a single rare level 9 again ever since that troll I've yet to get another one to spawn I had a couple piebalds spawn but I haven't shot them yet because I want to save it for next time we stream uh, on Call of the Wild. Two-star adult. Ooh, that could be a giant eventually. A two-star adult. 
One star adult. That one looks nice in the back there. That might be a three star. I wish I could spot that dude in the back. Two star mature. Okay, well that's one we need to take down. That's a two star mature as well. Let's take this one back here. Where did it go? There it is. Let's take that two star mature because he's still staying still. Still staying still? I think I know which one it is. It's gotta be that one in the back because it's darker colored. Much more gray fur. It's definitely him. Yeah, it's him. Okay, so the gray furred mule deer in the back. That's our target. He's now behind this bush, but shouldn't be too long before we can see him better. Well, thank you, Husky. I appreciate that, man. I try my best to reply to as many questions as I can, though uh, the last few days has been difficult with the large amount of people watching, but I've been trying my best to stay interactive. Nice, we nailed him. He's going down. Look at that beautiful deer. The thing that I love about the mule deer is like even the two stars look pretty good. Read up on non-typicals, if they are non-typical on both sides, it's likely genetics, otherwise it's injury or a parasite. Oh, that's cool, okay. I could totally see them in implementing something like that then. And that would be so incredibly cool if they... If they made it so it was part of the genetic system. Gosh, I am so excited for the future of this game. Once they've released a couple updates to iron out some of the bugs, obviously that's gonna make the game a lot more enjoyable to play as well. And then, you know, a few months down the road when they start adding new content. My gosh, this game's got a bright future. Gonna get attacked by the bears? Uh, not really that I've seen. I don't really know though. Um, I'd say to, at first TLO, you could uh, try to manage them. You still make a lot of money by managing. The only difference is like if you're trying to manage them from the start, if you see a herd of mule deer, try to target mature bucks that have a one or a two star rating. Because those are actually very common from the start, so you'll still make plenty of money while also getting rid of some of those bad genetics. Ooh, 88%, but it was only a two-star mature. Must have been a young mature one. It definitely wouldn't have reached five-star, but... Definitely could have got bigger, I think. That's an interesting rack, too. This is actually the first one where I've seen these two tines this close together. I've seen a similar frame, but the tines were not bent in like this. That's cool. First time I've ever seen this particular position for this rack. Looks like we did end up getting both lungs and one of the arteries. Oh yeah, we severed that artery. Yeah, that's uh... That's why it died super quick. Absolutely shattered. Shattered one of the ribs. Severed the artery, went through both lungs. That guy didn't go far at all. Yes, yeah, something like that, Siv. What's the number one thing I would change about the game and what's the number one thing I would add? Hmm. The number one thing that I would change, I don't know. I think one of the biggest things is to add an FOV slider. Like, it really bugs me that I'm locked to 60 FOV. It just feels so zoomed in. 
I don't know if that's the number one thing I'd change, though. Yeah, I'd say that's probably one of the biggest things that I would change because it really bugs me that I can't change the uh, FOV. But I know they're going to add that shortly, so... It's not too big of a deal. Oh, that's a good point, Atticus. That would be nice to see the actual age of the animal. And then for, like, the thing I'd like to see added, definitely non-typicals. That is my number one want. Because non-typical deer in Classic are always so uh, exciting to find. And obviously in Call of the Wild, the Great One Whitetail, which is a non-typical, is always just impressive to look at. So if they added non-typicals, that would be my, my ultimate want for the game. Because for me, like, once you have hunted the largest animals, like, once I get all the five stars... It would be nice to have non-typicals to go after next. Especially since non-typicals can be more random and not always look the same. There's a lot more variety with a non-typical rack. And I feel like that really adds replay value. Because then you're not only looking for a non-typical, but you might try to find multiple non-typicals. Until you get one that looks the way that you want it to. Also, this is a two-star mature. Let's get this one out. Let's get this one out of the uh, herd. There's some deer up there. Ooh. That guy's solid. What's his rating? Two star mature as well. Alright, well, I guess since they're both matures, let's just... Okay, something looked huge. I saw one of those racks look absolutely giant. That's a younger deer. It's got decent antlers on it. There was definitely one buck in there that looked to be at least a three star that we didn't see at first. Uh, definitely husky, and they have said that there will be no microtransactions. They said that they will do free updates that have uh, new gear and uh, some new animals as well sometimes. From what I understand, the way they're going to monetize the game, because obviously you still have to monetize it in some way to keep the development going. They still got to pay their developers one way or another. And eventually, like, purchases of the game itself will slow down and they'll have to find ways to monetize in uh, other fashions. From what I understand, maps are going to be the thing that they will use to monetize development of the game further. And it seems like they're going to make them pretty affordable. And they have said that new maps will also come with new weapons. So you're not just getting a map, you're getting new guns as well when you buy a map. So I think they're going to actually make it so it's pretty worth the money. They've said the next two maps are going to be 60 square kilometers and 100 square kilometers. So not as big as these, but still very large. And each of them will come with new weapons and gear. Which I assume gear will be like collars and possibly maybe some new scopes. They do plan to add quite a bit of stuff with the DLCs, which is nice. It's nice that it's not just going to be a map. There's going to be gear with it as well, which is cool. And from what I've seen, it seems like it's going to be pretty affordable. It's an extra $10 for the season pass, which is the elite edition of the game. It comes with the game and the season pass for just an extra $10, and you get both of the next two reserves. So, like, for $10, you get two maps with a bunch of weapons and gear. I think that's definitely going to be relatively worth it. Seems like it's going to be cheaper than Call of the Wild's DLC. And theirs were already pretty cheap. Uh, where did this guy go? Where'd that blood go? Hey, Blitz. Where was... Okay, there's this blood. What direction did he go? It's hard to see the exact direction it ran. I think it ran this way. Definitely seems like it. Oh yeah, it ran this way for sure. There he is. 
Yeah, I had it marked, but I couldn't find where the next one was. Yeah, that was a two-star mature, 68% genetics, so we did make a good decision on this one. I love the whole, like, it, it's almost like a gamble whenever you look at a deer that's not super close. You know, you're trying to figure out, does it look like its fur is super worn down? Like, does it look like it's past its prime? I love that factor. Really makes you think about each animal you're going to take out. Yeah, definitely Tisk. I'd like to see some other uh, brands as well. I, if I'm being honest, I think the next uh, DLC they release, like the first map, I'll bet that it comes with Remington rifles because they are partnered with Remington, but there's only one Remington rifle in the game. So they could probably release some more Remington rifles, and I feel like that's pretty likely. I could imagine seeing a Remington 700 at some point. Are all animals the size is the same? Uh, no, Bat. They actually do change size based off of age and fitness. So, like, a, a younger deer might have less body mass than an older one. And then, obviously, their fitness level will also change the body mass. Hey, Jen, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it, dude. Really appreciate it. I hope you have been enjoying the live stream. Yeah, bad. It's pretty amazing. Oh, we spooked a bunch. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'd be very shocked if they didn't eventually add an Africa map. I'd say one of these days we'll probably get it. Ooh, three star. There's a three star mature in there. Two star mature. That is a lot of deer. Oh my gosh, that's two herds easily. There's no way that's only one herd. Wow, three star mature again? Oh my gosh, that was like 20. They, they're still. We had to have spooked at least two, maybe three herds there. That was a lot. Oh yeah, I definitely think that's a necessity, Bubba. At some point, they gotta add that because... Uh, the sheep that I got in the video today for one of the missions, it didn't say, you know, it doesn't say the fur type, so I have no way to know, like, what they would even consider that fur type to be. What do we want to do? Do we want to go after a moose? I saw a few people saying to hunt moose with a 338, so we might go do that. We kind of checked our herds already, found that one massive white tail. So I think, uh, I think we can move on from the whitetail and mule deer for now. There's obviously so many locations I haven't checked for them. Like, there's tons of other rivers that have mule deer and whitetail, but it would take hours and hours to check them all. Oh yeah, five star moose would be wild. Uh, Zaggy ended up getting one. They do look pretty impressive, so it'd be cool if we could find one. Let's replace the shotgun with the 338, which is the Steyr Carbon. Let's change the scope on our 308 to this one. I do actually really like this reticle with the 338. I think this works pretty well with it. And since the 338 is pretty good at super long range, it makes sense to have the 18x on it. We're going to go to this campsite now and hunt around that area. That's where we were hunting yesterday. And we saw a couple uh, like two star moose and one star moose. There's a few one-star youngs. Maybe they've grown by now. Some Ross's goose. Four-star mature. Wow. 
I mean, I can't get it right now. It's pretty far away and it's flying farther away. Force armature again. Two star. Wow, we got two four star geese in there. I've definitely noticed the birds make four and five stars way more commonly. Uh, the store is not in the car. It's only in the um, main lodge. That's where you can access the store. Uh, the vehicles and the other outposts just have your storage. Me too, Siv. It's insane to see the crazy uh, render distance. Like, being able to take 800 meter shots is just... Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I've got a uh, short coming out today at around 6 p.m. PST that's going to be a really long range shot we took from yesterday. We managed to connect a 688 meter shot on a mouflon. And I gotta say, it was probably one of the most fun shots I've ever taken in any hunting game. It was just so cool to see the, the mouflon just get knocked over from a 700 meter shot. It was insane. I think so, Silithin. I think it could probably do 60 FPS with a 1080 Ti. Um, I was able to get roughly 50 to 60 with my 1070, so a 1080 Ti could definitely get 60. My 3060 Ti that I have now is able to, at least when I'm not streaming, obviously streaming tanks FPS a little bit because it's just more strain on your system in general. But uh, when I'm not streaming, I get up to like 90, even 100 FPS in some locations and an average of like 70 to 80. And that's on relatively high settings as well. I'm not playing on the highest. I think the only thing I've got cranked down all the way is shadows. It runs pretty well though. Very high view distance. And that's just the view distance quality. It doesn't actually change how far you can see animals. Medium post processing, low shadows, high textures, medium effects, very high foliage. Anti aliasing turned on as well. And it works pretty good. Is the CPU okay? Uh, yeah, I've got a 67, an i7 6700K. Not an insane CPU, but it's good enough. This game definitely seems to be more GPU heavy than CPU heavy. Which is a good thing. It means that it's optimized properly. Definitely notice it's way more GPU strain than CPU strain. Hey, Daniel, how's it going? Oh, yeah, I can end the pull. We already finished that anyway. We already took that white tail down, so... I still can't believe we actually got to see him grow again. Like, that happened with the elk yesterday. We managed to get to work with that white tail. I shot one bear yesterday, but... I believe it was a female? I haven't actually got to shoot a male bear yet. Did it go five star? It did fusion. We got it to go to five star and it was a pretty big five star as well. So the five star range for score is 460 to 500 and it scored 478. So it was right in the middle of a five star animal and it didn't have high enough genetics to where it would have grown much larger. So, oh my gosh. Hey, I guess I should check out what they are first. They're just staring me down though. Two one star young. All right, since we see them right there, let's go just watch them for a little bit. Oh, I, I can't get very close to them, but maybe there we go. So now we can kind of watch just like how they stare us down and how long they do it. I love that. The fact that they'll just stare you down until you've stopped moving for a while and they know that it's safe or whatever. Pretty cool. They do the same with vehicles. I saw somebody that was saying that it wasn't realistic for an animal to not spook from a vehicle and then spook when you get out, but that's literally how every deer I've ever seen um, in a field near a road is. Like, if you're driving on the highway, right, deer don't care at all. They'll just kind of stare you down whenever there's a vehicle going by, but it's when you stop and get out to take pictures, that's when they run away. And that's literally how it is in the game as well, which is awesome. 
But I saw a couple people saying that they, they thought that was unrealistic, but... I don't know, I feel like that's perfectly realistic. So these are two different young ones. It's gonna be hard to tell if they have bad or good genetics. Because they are young. However, this guy's considerably smaller, so we might just take him. I need the money at the moment, so... Yeah, exactly, like... I've seen so many situations in real life where they kind of just like... They just stare at your vehicle while you're driving, and then if you stop, they decide to dart. Because once you've stopped, they're like, oh, that's a threat. They're stopping right next to me. But as long as you keep going, they tend to just stay and mind their own business. Maybe, Trevor, I'd have to know like what the specs of your laptop are to really give you a solid answer on that. This moose doesn't want to give us a good angle. Okay, so I just thought of something else because um, we were talking about what I'd like changed in the game. The other thing I'd like changed is the ADS speed. Look how quickly you bring the scope up. Like, that's not very realistic. I wish it went up slower. That is like my one big complaint. I don't mind the lower recoil on rifles, but the ADS speed, that bugs me. Being able to bring it up that quickly is not realistic. Gosh, this guy just does not want to face us. Maybe moving will get it to look towards our direction. I mean, this guy's giving us a perfect angle. It's the bigger one, though, so I'd kind of like to leave it and see if it grows to be big. Yeah, it's definitely too quick. I really want to see that changed. <laughs> well, we hard shot it. I actually really like the rifle sounds blitz. I just wish they ADS slower. I like the sounds. They've got a lot of punch to them. But that's more of a personal preference. What do I think of the moose models? I think they're pretty good. I haven't seen a giant, giant moose besides the one that Zaggy got, but... Like, I haven't actually seen one in-game. But the average two-star moose that I got the other day, it looks really good, so... Oh, the Echo. Yeah, I'm sure maybe they'll improve that at some point. Let's see, did we make a mistake? <laughs> okay, we made the right decision. 26% genetics. Yikes. Oh. It was not a heart shot. It was double lung. I think it was the super close range that did it then. I think it's safe to say that the the 338 within 150 meters is devastating to moose. You also don't get full hunt rating because it's above the recommended energy. You think the moose died too fast? Maybe. Though I've taken some long range shots on them and they did not die fast at all. And that was using the 300 Magnum. I think it's just the 338 being excessively powerful. Because it's quite a bit above the recommended energy. It's like 700 above. I think it just hits them so hard that it just drops them. It'll be hard to tell though. We will know more over time. But uh, let's sell that for 473. Wow, that gave us like way less money than a two star would. So that's good to note. Uh, low, low genetics and young moose, like a moose that has bad genetics that's young, really doesn't give you much cash. But if you kill like an average genetics two star, you get like a thousand two hundred. Yeah, Colton, we got a five-star whitetail earlier. We found it as a four-star. I uh, put a vote up in chat. 
And everybody voted to let it live and see if we could get it to grow, and it did. Moose are wimps, they die fast. Harvested 23 in my life. Good to know, Todd. Good to know. Oh yeah, it definitely is. 338's a beast of a round. And I'm glad that it, they did it justice in this game. I kind of want to test the 338 against a deer. I kind of want to find a white tail or a mule deer and blast it with the 338 just to see what it does to them. Yeah, we got the old intro music popping up now. Do it? We'll definitely have to if we find a, a group over here. There is a couple herds of whitetail and mule deer that I've seen on the very end over here. I saw a couple over here, uh, like, the first couple days of having access to the game. Haven't been there since, though. So there's definitely a possibility we could have something there. Would like to see what a headshot does? Yeah, I haven't tried a headshot yet. Oh, they definitely are, Osgard. The guns in Call of the Wild are way less powerful than what they should be. I mean, in this game, even the 243 is a really good caliber for deer. I've had the 243 perform just as well as the 308, provided you get a good shot. Like, if you're a good shot, 243 does perfectly fine on deer in this game, which is awesome. I even dropped a deer with a 223 because I neck shot it the uh, the other night. Definitely a lot more realistic. Well placed shots are very rewarded in this game. You can do a well placed shot with a lower caliber and still do pretty good. And like the fact that they have the arteries um, actually shown in the models of these animals and that's one of the vitals that you can hit. The fact that you can hit the arteries really opens it to a lot of other calibers. Because you could aim for, like, the artery in the neck, which some people do do that in real life. And you would be able to kill it pretty quickly with even, like, a small caliber, like a 223. What graphics in, am I running? Kind of, like, high to very high. Not max, but close. Nice, hunting guy. Looks more like Oregon, but it does have a Montana feel. It's actually based in Idaho. After you shoot an animal and it goes down, does the entry wound show up in the downed animal? I don't think so, uh, Bandit Bros. At least I haven't seen it, though I haven't looked super close. We might have to take a look at that on the next one we find. But I haven't seen it as of now. One star adult duck. So potatoes, something like that. Yes, I'm running the game at 1080p. And right now in this swamp part, I'm getting around 78 FPS on high to very high settings. It would be higher, but since I'm streaming, that takes up some of the performance. Two star mature. Okay, that's a good one to try and take down. I don't see it, but we saw the spotting info. That's a female. It's gonna be interesting to see exactly where this male is. Yeah, Kim, we got the five star whitetail. Scored 478. Very large whitetail. Shoot the duck with the 338. All that's left is feathers. Probably. 
Uh, yeah, Marine, we ended up getting a five-star pheasant and a five-star whitetail, and we actually got to watch the five-star whitetail grow from a four-star to a five-star. It was so cool to see. How many times? It was a seven by seven. Honestly, I'm happy that they didn't do eight by eights as the big ones in this game. I always felt that there was way too many times on the call of the wild whitetail. So it's nice to see that they went a little more realistic and made the 7x7s the giants. Obviously, you could totally get an 8x8 in real life. It's just incredibly rare. Welcome back, Johnny. Young female moose there as well. I don't know where that male is. Really all we know is that it's somewhere. There it is. Okay. Come on, buddy. Turn just a little bit. Maybe if we move? Maybe we can get it to turn its head at least? I honestly don't know what the best way to get them to be alerted is. As the game is still pretty early in its existence. Not sure what I need to do to get him to look at me but not spook. Because that's not a favorable angle. And there's no way I could Texas hard shot by the way guys. No way I could do that. Uh, no this would not be a non-typical. Try jumping? I could. I mean, even that female that's closer doesn't seem to care. <laughs> oh, wow. You run a tiny bit and they dart. Okay, good to know. Don't run. Like, I ran for, like, a half second, and they darted out of there. Yeah, it's really hard to get them to, like, face you without completely spooking them. Little unfortunate, but it is what it is. Just means we gotta be strategic with how we approach a, a stubborn animal like that. Because he really did not want to face us. Just need a call? Yeah, but I don't have, um... I don't think I have the call unlocked that will actually attract, uh, males. I think I can only attract cows. Either that or it's just low fitness males. I can't remember. To be honest, though, I haven't had much success with the callers. They don't seem to work super great from my experience. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong, but I haven't got more than like one animal to come to the call but I guess time will tell I'm sure eventually we'll figure out the sweet spot for calls what works best for them maybe we can get a better view on him I swear I see one of them, and then when I zoom in, there's a rock in the way. I swear I see one of them. Well, there's a stand over here. I remember seeing moose near this uh, stand last time I was out here.
Uh, not sure, Bob. I think the processor's probably good. If it's the if it's the one I'm thinking of. Not 100% sure. Well, what's your uh, what's your GPU as well? GPU is a big factor in the performance on this game. That's a moose, I think. Or is that a rock? We might have ourselves a rock moose over there. Well, that's a moose, definitely. I think I just saw it move. No, that's a rock. It's a rock. That's sad. There's a moose. Oh, I bet we could see it from the stand, actually. That's cool if we can. I think we could totally see it from the stand. Imagine Blitz. I have yet to see, like, a wild rare. As of now, it's only been that mission rare. I have yet to see a rare just randomly out in the wild, so... I don't know how difficult they are to find. Or, like, what they would even look like. Uh, possibly, Justin. I would definitely recommend upgrading the RAM eventually, though. 16 gigs is starting to be, like, the bare minimum you'd want for a lot of games. That's him, right there. Well, the 338's a long-range rifle. Zero to 300. We gotta wait for him to go broadside, though. Like, I can't take this shot. I don't trust it. Worst hunting game, in my opinion. Uh, hunting Simulator 1 and 2. The two worst hunting games ever created because the developers didn't care about them and it was complete cash grabs. They never updated the games or held up any of their promises. They even released two DLCs that nobody cared about or wanted and then just abandoned the game. So Hunting Sim 2 is probably one of the worst and Hunting Sim 1. Okay, so I can't, uh, do a waypoint when I'm in there. That sucks. Yeah, it looked like it was a good shot. He slowed down almost immediately. It was, like, right here, right? I think so. Yeah, it was definitely over here. Roughly a 300 meter shot with the 338. Looked solid. Uh, the does don't actually have genetics uh, ratings. It's only the males on the reserve that have the genetic rating. And it's also not good to hunt uh, does in this game. Because uh, if you hunt a lot of females, then your population will decrease because there's less animals for the males to breed with. And uh, if you shoot more males, then you'll have a higher population on your map because there'll be less competition for the remaining males. It's a pretty cool system. I'm assuming that's without claiming them, though, Blitz, right? I would imagine you're talking about without claiming. Because with claiming in Call of the Wild, I can, at the very best, get 20 red deer in 10 minutes. By the 338, that's, uh, that's what I'm holding right here. Map boundary. Ooh, that's not good. At least we can claim it still. 
Yeah, 1100 cash for this one. So we got an artery and both lungs. There's the artery we hit. So if you hit high on the lung, honestly, you could probably go for spine shots. And even if you hit low, you're going to hit the artery. That's actually good to know. Moose might be one of the easiest animals to hunt once you get a good gun. And they also give pretty crazy uh, cash as well. And that was with a four star hunt rating as well. You could get even more cash if you were using the 300. I definitely think it is, Lewis. Uh, the fact that the pre-order um, comes with the season pass if you buy the Elite version, I think that's definitely worth it because the Elite uh, Elite Edition is only an extra $10 and you're going to get the next two reserves uh, with that Elite Edition. So it's cool. Yeah, there we go. There is that bull moose. Um, it's actually got two very different uh, antlers. So that's a good example of the bad genetics showing on him. The bad genetics animals I've noticed are a lot more wonky than the good genetics ones. There's that sweet, sweet cash though. Um, I don't know, Alexander. I'm actually not sure. Let, let's look in the encyclopedia at some of these and see what the recommended energy is. I imagine maybe elk it's recommended for it. No, that's actually above elk as well. So it's actually above all of these. That makes me wonder if maybe the purpose of the 338 in the game is for super long range hunting because at probably like 500 meters or more, it's going to drop enough energy for the most part that it'll probably get full hunt rating on a moose. But I imagine that's what they intend is for it to be the long range option. Oh, maybe Royal. I mean, either way, I think that's still worth it for two uh, reserves. Especially since they've said that all reserves will come with new weapons and gear. All right. Well, anyway, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end the stream as uh, I do have to get some stuff done. And we've got a YouTube short coming out in an hour as well. I appreciate everybody dropping by, though. A little bit shorter stream than yesterday, obviously, as we did the eight-hour stream on uh, on yesterday. But we still got quite a bit done today. And honestly, before we leave, I think I will go show you guys the five-star whitetail for those of you that missed it. We got a five-star whitetail and a five-star pheasant, and both of them look really awesome. And there is no clothing system, no. What the? That's not intended. <laughs> what? I've also never... I've never walked in here before. Okay, then. That was... Well, then. It also still says map boundary. Probably because we fast traveled while we were in the boundary. Let's take a look at them, though. This is our five star whitetail. Look at that absolute beast. This is what a five star giant looks like. And then these two next to it, these are four star whitetail. You can definitely tell some of the differences. And this is also an example of one that's got um, different amounts of tines on each antler. This one side is a seven point and the other side is a six point. So this is a six by seven, four star buck. This guy right here is, I believe a seven by seven buck. Yeah, it is. And then this uh, five star is a seven by seven as well. Yeah, it's a very beautiful whitetail. I love the whitetail models in this game. So good. And then here's our five star pheasant right here. I love the bird mounds. Very well done. Yeah, pull it is. I saw that too. Like, I looked at Mel's uh, the other day, and 
That was the first thing I noticed when we took this one, is that it's completely different. I have not seen a five-star mule deer yet. I've seen a couple four-stars, though. All right, guys. But that is going to be it for this stream. I hope you all enjoyed. We will be back tomorrow with some more Way of the Hunter. Hope you've all been enjoying this early look. I've been having so much fun with it. And uh, this is definitely an amazing game. But thank you all for being here. Thank you all for all the support. All the brand new subs, all of the super chats, members, everything. Really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one.